Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we will have another look at the Aldo Cube GT book. Quick recap about the technical specification. The Aldo Cube GT book has a Jasper Lake, Celeron N5100 quad core CPU, 12 GB of RAM, a 14.1 inch screen, full HD, 256 GB SSD, it has Wi Fi 4 AC, Wi Fi 5 AX, and Wi Fi 6 support, and Bluetooth 5 as well. The dimensions are the thickness of 70 mm, uh, 32.3 mm wide and 20.7 cm deep. It has a 500 mAh battery which is totally crap. I mean if you don't use it the battery is empty immediately. I don't know what's wrong with this. It has a rock position. What's called rock position? 7020p webcam downstairs makes it not very good for the view. Anyway, what did I do with this after the last time? I did something and that was in the setting under... Uh, ooh, where was it? That's a good question. I did under recovery reset this PC. After that, it took a while of course, after resetting the PC, I finally got non-Chinese characters. Oh yeah! Still no UK language choice on the setup, but ah, I can kind of without it. I have here now the, I think it was American English. That's totally fine. But at least no Chinese characters anywhere in the in the settings menu here anymore. That's good. Let's go have a look. How good is this? First, doing some benchmarks. We have here Cinebench. Let's see how well it does. Okay, let's see the multi-core. You see already here, Celeron N5100, four cores at 1.12 GHz. Windows 10, 64-bit, 12 GB DDR4 RAM, I said already. And yeah, let's start it. I'm running it from, from, the, from the power. He said it will take around 10 minutes. Oh, it looks good. This is the multi-core run it now. I don't think we can compete with any of these top 11 ranking CPUs. I mean, serious. I'm the Ryzen Threadripper. 13,000 point. No way we will get any close to it. Uh, maybe the Core i7. 4,850 HQ. 3,891 points. I think we can match it. Okay, here we are, back, and we got our result, 1322 points. What is? Not that good. Let's see what the single core test says. Single core, single core, la 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 la, is it starting? Oh yeah, here we go, 10 minutes, single core. Okay, here we are, close to the finish line. Let's see, it took around 14 minutes more, maybe 15. But we are... Getting to result. Oh wow, not that bad. 523. That is better than the 12 core 24 thread Xeon X 5650. Boom! And only only close behind the Xeon E5 2679-97B2. Not bad, not bad. That's the Cinebench results. Let's close it. And look what else we have. Nero score. Yeah, Nero score. The real world PC benchmark. <laughs> This is a standard setup, so we will look later for what performance mode we are in. Honestly, I did not know Nero is making benchmark, but obviously it does. <sighs> okay. Ah. Ooh. Oh, we are better than 19% than every other one. That is not that bad, isn't it? I mean, we are 4200. We are... Oh, our AI performance is under... Oh, oh look at this. Oh, not good. Hey, 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 hey. Are we ready for AI? Oh, no, no, we are underperforming. Ooh, but hey, we are in, in a good... In a good spot of all those weak, weak... Ah, yeah, look at this! We are very good for the ABC decoding. 
This is not bad. For a sheep, 300 euro. Laptop, not bad. Okay, that is that's our test result. Underperforming with Metaverse. Decent enough for the AVC GPU decoding. On the GPU, the AVC or the CPU is underperforming and underperforming on AI tagging. So, here you see it. Nero score, 1007 points. Better than 90%. CPU score 312. 330. AI tagging, 166. GPU, 670. T7. Yeah. Okay, one more benchmark. What do we have? Windows 10, Chrome, Blink Engine. A pretty weird resolution. Oh, that's because we're not on full screen. Let's, let's close this. Go on full screen. Reload it. And it's still a weird resolution. What the heck? So, I don't know what's wrong with you. Let's start a baby. 503.88. Hoo hoo. Is that good? We are. Let's see more results from the power board. Uh, okay, maybe not. Okay, that was the base mark. Let's try this benchmark. This UPU expert online benchmark. Celeron N 5100. Tell what we are. Aldo Cube. GT book commercial. Whoa, start the benchmark. Please wait, Marcus in progress. And it's slow. Something happened at all? I mean, serious. Ah, oh, I see what happened. Still zero percent. I have no clue what's happening. What? Why? Probably is that. My lights are running out of energy. Let's finish it here. What will be the next? The next will be games. Games, 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 games. The gaming performance. For that, we will go to the Microsoft Store because I have no no games at all at here. And let's have a look what the Microsoft Store is offering us. Oh, Candy Crush. I mean, <laughs> hey, <laughs> what if not Candy Crush? Well, now the power of our laptop. Mm, racing games. Racing games are always graphic heavy. What's a demo? Why not? Let's get this baby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, it's downloading. So, one more game. Let's go. Asphalt 9. It's downloading. Great. Okay, I will download some game. And then we'll be back after recharging. Honestly, the Windows Store is crap. Bye bye.